hello um i'm gonna do this real quick because it's hot and i need my fan on but um yeah so i got this halloween yarn right candy corn this one and my uh my thought process was like oh my gosh it would be really cute to make candy corn sunflowers that did not work out because the color change is too spread out so these are like some ones that i did you can see that it only does one color and then it gets to the color change and it's the end of the flower and which is really not what i wanted um but and i tried to do a bigger one still not what i wanted so still don't know what to do with this yarn now thank god i only got two of them um i started doing some granny squares these are my first granny squares everyone's having me on back around that anyway <laughs> um the color change is still i only get two of the colors and not all of them um so yeah that didn't work out um I got another idea with these other Halloween yarn, but that sold out too quickly because I did, I was not fast enough. I saw it and I was like, mm, I'll make it later, but I should have known. I should have known we we're all ready for Halloween. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go back and try to work on doing it myself without uh with the color change i i don't have the right yellow i think and i think i might i think i have enough these i actually this is only from i had to i took this yarn with me to the beach and i had to wash it because i got tan on it so and i had to rewound it so this was like a little wound thing of it and it gave me three squares so i feel like i can at least do maybe like the front panel in the back I don't know let's see how many squares I can make and then we'll figure out what to do after that but yeah um this is the very long intro of me doing Halloween stuff let's see what we can do <laughs> Okay, in theory, this fits, but I'm not sure. And maybe I should take some stitch markers and connect them and see. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to line these up. But if this fits, then I have ideas for the next one. And then I know how many squares to make for ones to fit me. Um, I also have the other yarn. Not this one, this is for flowers. This other Halloween yarn. I don't think it's enough for, ooh, I'm about to spill everything. I don't think it's enough for a hexagon sweater, like a carnigan. 
Um, so I think I might take it apart and again and make granny squares like that one. I don't know what to line that with though. I mean, like to connect them together. I don't know if I should just take an extra. If I do the mattress stitch, then we'll be visible. But then it won't be patchy. But I feel like black will be too harsh. I'll think of something. Okay. Um, I hope that you can't hear the fan in the background, but if you can, I'm sorry. Um, here we go. Okay, so even though I hate working with this yarn, um, this is actually pretty cute. And I'm trying not to hate it because I hate this yarn, but this is cute. And I think I'm going to add the ribbing collar and the bottom i don't know about the sleeves though i might just leave it like this or maybe make a really small ribbing thing i don't know because i kind of just like the sleeves like this we'll do this part and then we'll figure that out later um and i think i am going to um uh, I remember the mess, leave me alone. I'm going to frog this. I said this earlier, but I am going to frog this and do the same thing with this. There's more colors. Um, and I think I might do it with gray instead of black. But I don't know. I did get a bunch more black because I was thinking about doing, making something else Halloween-y. But I'm changing my mind. Because I want, I have like this urge to make more patch cardigans. So, but I need to make some sweaters so I can have something, some warm stuff to wear. In the fall, winter, we're so close, yet so far away. Um, but yeah, let's do that and then see how it goes from there. This is almost done. Like, this is crazy. Um, it didn't take me this long to do. I just didn't want to work with it because I hate this yarn. The difference. The difference between not wanting to do something because uh, my brain is super sad versus not wanting to do something because I hate the material is crazy. Um, yeah. That's it for that. Actually, a lot. That's not it. Look at this zigzag stitch. This was actually a fun thing to learn. Um, it took me a bit, but now that I did it, I like love how this looks. I'm not going to do all of my granny square stuff like this, but this is cute. And then look, I accidentally, they somehow made little hearts. I have another one that's not attached to this that has like a heart, but like I saw these look like hearts and I was like, oh, let me put them on the front. But now looking at the camera, they don't look like hearts anymore. <laughs> oh well. I'll learn some more granny squares. Maybe we'll find a heart one. This thing one, two, three. Hello. But the thing about making these videos sometimes, I don't know where I left off. And the smart thing to do would be to go back at the last video and see what you said. But I'm not. So, here where I am so far. Um, I'm pretty sure that I mentioned about how the blacks weren't the same. So I have to go get some more black. I got that. And I did start working on the room where I was at work on break. However, I also did what I said I was going to do. Take apart the thing in... Ta-da! More squares! So I'm going to have two of these. That... I like what I don't like. It's only because I don't like the yarn that I um feeling like this. So I have this going on for me. I'm sorry. I'm on Discord. 
and I think I just lost the internet on my computer. I don't want I don't want to talk about it. Um so I just gotta weave in the end, so I'm about to do that now. And oh I got disconnected. Anywho again, I don't wanna talk about it. Um so yeah, these squares are not done done, but I finished them. I just gotta weave in the ends, which I'm gonna do now. Um, so I don't mind. A lot of people talk about how annoying it is to weave in the ends. Um, and someone's probably gonna be like, well, you only use one thing of yarn, da da da. But I made this thing. I wanted to practice doing other colors. I had an idea. I thought it was gonna look like flowers, and it didn't. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> But um, this wasn't so bad to weave in the ends either. I think this is the other side. So this is the front side. This looks great. Actually, stuff just looks way better on camera. Well, I really like this green, but I can't find this green anywhere. I got this green from like one of those free lot things. Um, but it didn't have like the name or the brand on it. So as well i have this green that's really close but it's a little bit more saturated it's a little it's not lighter saturated is the word that i'm gonna look that i'm gonna use because it's saturated um the red is big twist the pink is red heart oh my gosh i blank i kind of stopped using red heart uh big twist is just softer and just feels better to my hands or acrylic um it's a little bit harder to work with sometimes but yeah that's where i am i'm gonna do that and then i can put them all together and then i'll be done so the next time you'll see me i'll have two granny square halloween thingies and I don't even know if I mentioned what this yarn is. And I will put... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think this is it. Halloween party. I've realized that this has more yardage to it than Red Heart. I use Red Heart for my uh, Scooby-Doo one. So, this is probably how I got so many out of two um but yeah i have a bunch of yarn i have more projects to do so let's finish this and go to the next project and hopefully not kill my hands do your hand stretches i'm looking at you pause and do your hand stretches right now You know what's funny? I think in the same video I'm complaining about it being hot. Um, and now look at me. I'm bundled up. I am worried about our weather situation. Uh, yeah. So, it is done. I realized that I don't have that much footage uh, for this video as I thought I did. Because I know I did a lot of talking. And it turns out that I was talking to people and not to the camera. How wild is that? Um, but yeah, it's done. It's completed. I like it and I wore it out. The day I wore it out was actually a bit too hot to be wearing it, but the outfit did look cute. And then the little montage thing that I did, um, not the greatest, but I did came home from being out all day and then had like a huge leg cramp. That was weird and scary, but it turned out fine. My legs are working barely uh <laughs> but yeah it turned out fine i like it i just hate that yarn and i'm never gonna buy it again um even though i said i plan on buying it i just don't want this yarn with the sprinkles on it i am working on the other one it's just not gonna be in this video i know i said i was gonna have it in this video i'm not because it's been way too long since i've uploaded a video so 
follow me on Instagram, you'll see the pics there. Trust. Even though I barely post pictures on my Instagram. But trust, it's, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. But yeah, I like it. Um, Actually, let me go get it. So I like how this turned out. I think, I think what I'm going to do for ribbing in the future is the ribbing that I do like here. So what I did is I did because oh, somebody else in the video did it and I can't remember who it was. But what they do is they slip stitch, right? They slip stitch it. You can see it. They slip stitch it, right? And then they start doing the ribbing. And then they do the, uh, the stitches and they do the ribbing on there. Um, actually not looking at it. I'll probably only do that for the thing. I just need to, my only thing is I can't sew in a straight line. No matter how hard I tried, even with this, because like it's uneven a bit at the bottom. I think what I might do is slip stitch the bottom and then attach the bottom ribbing that I made separately so it looks different. But yeah, and I think for this leaf, I'm gonna do that with this one. Uh, I'm going to do three instead of two, but I do like this. Instead of keeping it open, I did do a little bit of a ribbing. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, and I like it. I just wish it was a little thicker. So I think I'm going to do that with this. My only difference between this and this, I don't like how, because I did gray instead of black, I don't really like how the zigzag stitch looks with the gray on the other side. It actually looks better with the thicker side, so I think I'm going to have the thicker side on the outside. So I'm going to have to be careful what I'm sewing in the end. But yeah, that's it. That's done. Um, thank you for watching. I know I didn't do that much this time with showing me and not showing me showing you guys the process and uh talking through some things i just did not like this yarn you hear me say that a lot i just did not like it uh i'm gonna be working on i'm gonna have more projects in because all my yarn is organized by projects so i'm going to be able to go through them um doing renaissance fair stuff Soon, we're trying to go to Renaissance Fair uh, this month. We're just working out scheduling with my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends and family and others. Describe. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do for the spa fuki season? Put that in the comments. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>